What's up everyone? I'm going to be doing a quick little brutal honest review on 7 Days to Die, alright? This game was ported over from PC onto the PS4. This game came out in 2013 and I was watching people play it in 2013 and I thought that this was a great successor to like Minecraft or something. It was a great survival crafting horror bitch blah 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 blah. It seemed really cool. A lot of different things you could do. Your friend could go off this direction. You could go off another direction. Have your own survival thing. And then eventually find each other and fuck each other in the ass. You know, it's just a cool concept of crafting realism. You need supports on your buildings. Your buildings will collapse from gravity. You need a lot of stuff to make sure that you're surviving. Everything affects your character from weather to wind, atmosphere, biome. Getting hurt bleeds you out. Breaking your leg, spraining your leg, getting hungry fucking getting horny everything now i'm not going to be fucking hammering this game with insults and i'm not going to be sucking its dick either but the, i'm leaning more towards fucking it in the ass with insults because this game is annoying with its bugs glitches exploits and fuck-ups firstly i had a great first impression playing the game it was a complete ho like scary we spent our first night on a rock in the middle of the night. Very scary. I'm not going to lie there. But then the first thing I notice is that you're overheating everywhere. I was in the snow biome with a percentage of being wet. When you have a percentage of being wet, that means your core temperature will go down no matter what. If you're 1% wet or 28% or 99%, if it's any percentage wet, your core temperature goes down. I was like 12% wet in the snow biome, naked overheating over 100 degrees i was having a heat stroke and that happens everywhere i can't even go out my house heat stroke i can't even go explore because the second i reach across the street heat stroke i was getting heat strokes everywhere and you can't drink water that doesn't make it better you can't sit and rest that doesn't make it better you're still fucking baking so eventually you have to figure out that you have to get iron armor and that will like decrease your cork temperature so now when i go outside with my iron gear i'm like 85 degrees so if i didn't have that stuff on i'd be having heat strokes every time i've been playing this game and i've gotten today like 91 or 96 one of those days 91 or 96 days played in the game just in game days not real life uh, i'm not a fucking faggot so besides from the horrible temperature realism we have the supply drops supply drops i'd say i've gotten about 40 percent of supply drops that have dropped every day you get a supply drop so when you complete day one and go into day two supply drop day three supply drop day 29 to 30 31 supply drop supply drop supply drop every day you get one guaranteed fucking teed and it's day 91 or 96 and I'd say I've gotten maybe 30. Because when you go to them, well, first of all, they spawn default a reasonable distance away from you. So if you do not have a mini bike, you have to run. And when you run to it, you never get there in time. And if it's like maybe five seconds more away from you, it will despawn. The only way it will not despawn is if you are already running in that general direction when the plane comes and you have a head start. It will despawn in front of you. And it will be gone. And sometimes it will reappear somewhere else. So sometimes I've gotten four supply drops in a row. So I mean, that's kind of cool that the game's like giving me the ones that I never got. But then again, now my inventory's fucked with all this OP shit. Which brings me in to the exploits. There's duplication glitches everywhere. So when we found out about them, of course we're going to fucking do them. Now we've got hundreds of bacon and eggs. We've got hundreds of thousands of bullets, guns, building blocks, everything. We got all the vitamins so we could get our health all the way up and get all the trophies. We fucked this game with the exploits. We fucked it. Because they don't test it. They don't fucking tr test this shit. There is lag spikes everywhere you go. Every 7 to 12 seconds, there's a lag spike because the game auto-saves. And every time it auto-saves, you get fucked. You get fucked.
fucked because the screen fucking has an aneurysm. It just fucks you over. If you're up high on a building and you're walking and then the game does its autosave, you will fucking walk off that ledge. You will walk right the fuck off. And you know what else is fucking homo? Is every... Well, first of all, it does not happen a lot when you're playing by yourself. But it will happen a shit ton when you're playing with someone else. With one person, with two people, every extra person you have is an increase of chance of this happening. The game crashes. On PS4, the game will crash, rendering you back to the home screen. And this happens every one hour. I'm not exaggerating. Every one hour. It was 402 crash. Playing the game 502 fucking 911 North Tower crash. And when it crashes, it sets you back to the last time it saved. So imagine this. You just went into a shotgun store, right? And you opened up a crate. You found a rocket launcher, the rarest one. Game crashes, sets you back eight seconds. When you go back in that crate, it's a different item. Because with randomness, before, if you're just looking at a crate, inside that crate is a cycle of items. And the second you open it, it stops based on your luck and everything. So it changes. So if the game crashes and you found something cool, you've lost it. And when we had our mini bikes cruising down the street, we were going through so many chunks. The game fucking had an aneurysm and crashed. When we came back into the game, mini bikes were gone. Never to be seen again. I don't want to be fucking this game like this. It looked so cool on PC, and it is on PC, all right? But not on PS4. This game only dominates on those fucking Asian $3,000 Alienware computers, not a crappy fucking $600 PS4. This game is not what it should have been. On PS4, it's buggy, exploits, and shit. The only reason I've played so many days is because I still enjoy it. I've been fucked with the glitches for so long that I don't, it doesn't even bother me anymore. I'm just used to it. I plan my days in the game based on when it crashes. So fuck this game. A little bit. Just fuck it a little bit. I'm still playing it. But still. Fuck it. But really, it still is fun. At the beginning stages, when you have no idea what these bugs and glitches are, you have a great first experience playing this game. And later on, you start to realize all the problems, all the bugs. It's only when you're into, like, day 30 is when you'll start to get annoyed and just bothered by all the bugs and glitches. And This game has no campaign. It has two world sets, a scripted, handmade map by developers, and a randomly generated world. And you get a false sense of exploration when you look at the map, because the map could go on seemingly forever. Uh, but it turns out that that whole map is just radiated zones in which you cannot go into even with a full radiation suit which they just added you cannot survive in the radiation zone and there's nothing in there so it's like they have this whole huge world that they cut and just made like a death barrier when we could easily have towns and things spawn there so the world is a lot smaller than what it looks like. And when I figured that out, I just realized, holy crap, I've just explored the whole world and there's nothing new to be found. That's quite disappointing and makes you not want to play in that world anymore. I'm dead, 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 dead. Look, look at that one. <laughs> look at that one. Oh, 
No! No! Damon! No!